Welcome to this demonstration of the NetSuite WMS No Bins feature. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate performing a cycle count in a storefront location using a mobile RF handheld device. I'm using the store manager role with some added permissions for transacting in the mobile RF handheld device. As items move in, out, and within my storefront location, it's important to incorporate a cycle counting strategy to ensure I have an accurate depiction of my inventory. Here you see my dashboard shows that I have two items due for cycle count today. The basis of the cycle count is the cycle count plan record. These configurable cycle count plans allow for identification of item records for review, release, counting based on item type, and or classification. The use item frequency option allows for incorporating true interval based counting concepts. I might want to count my fast movers or high value items more frequently than my slow movers for low value items. Let's go ahead and release the count. I'm going to use my A classification once per week plan. I want to count my high value fast moving items weekly to be sure I maintain the utmost accuracy. My count start and end dates will be today. This will qualify all A classification items due to be counted today. I'll go ahead and select all return records and release the count. Once the count's been generated, I can start it. Starting the count pushes it to the mobile RF handheld device so that the store employees can perform the count. I'll select the proper storefront location and navigate to Inventory Cycle Count. I'll select my count and begin processing each count task. Since we're not using bins and therefore don't know systemically exactly where the inventory is, the optional item stock location configuration helps identify where the items are usually located to introduce more efficiency to the cycle counting process. I'll sum up and enter the quantity of my item throughout the storefront facility. The item is stocked in a different unit of measure or UOM. I can update the UOM accordingly and NetSuite will do the math for me. I'll continue counting any additional items. In the case of a lot controlled item, the system will first prompt me for the total quantity of all lots and then the quantity of each individual lot if there is more than one lot, which in this case there is. Once the count is completed in the mobile RF handheld device, the dashboards and the desktop interface will provide the proper reminders to those resources who are responsible for cycle count review. Marking the count complete in the desktop interface will return the snapshot quantity, the quantity the system thinks is on hand, versus the count quantity, what was counted in the mobile RF handheld device. Lot, serial, status detail associated to the count will be available in the detail columns. If something looks awry with a particular variant, the reviewer can send an operator back out to recount a particular item or items. Once the store manager approves the count, any count variances will generate an inventory adjustment against the GL account identified here on the cycle count record. If I now go back to one of the items that was counted, drill into my storefront location, I can confirm that this item will be due up for counting on the same day next week. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.